It's Sea Otter Classic 2023, and I'm here on the hunt for Vantech, so don't go anywhere. So Tin Cup Whiskey make their own whiskey and as they're always on the road, Jeep have given them this truck and a custom overland awning which folds out from the rear all the way around to the side in one action and they've also provided this Wilco off-road tent so that they can sleep above the truck bed. So I'm here with Brady at Hitchfire and it looks like you've got an entire kitchen. Are you actually cooking lunch for us at yes, the moment? we are. We <laughs> are making some sausages right now. So some sausages, onions and bell peppers on our flat top on the F20. Amazing. So tell me about this Hitchfire. So the Hitchfire is a hitch mounted barbecue. So everything stays right in a two inch hitch receiver on the back, uses a swing arm. So when you're driving around, uh, getting to camp, it stays stowed behind the vehicle and then when you get to camp you just swing it out, connect your propane, fire up the grill and get to grilling. Amazing, this is great and I'm really looking forward to those sausages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here at Dometic and they've got this water faucet or in the UK we'll call it a tap, uh, which is touch sensitive, which isn't the great thing about it. The great thing about it is that this is rechargeable via a USB cable. So you don't need any plumbing, you don't need any 12 volt batteries um, or power from the van to charge this. It can be charged up by USB and it will last a couple of months and even better still, this system, if you just want a work surface and you don't want to commit to any plumbing and taps in the way of that, you can actually just take it off. These are magnetized, so they will attach by magnet to the surface like that and you can remove it or put it back in. It's a really super simple um, system. So yeah, really impressive. And we also have these Dometic power coolers here, which you can get, well, the big one will last up to seven days and you can get a solar panel on this to keep it charged. You can pick them up, move them out so you don't have to commit to a fridge in the van. They also have a small one, the 25, which will fit in a sprinter between the seats. This is the Tahule Approach, the roof tent. Now we've seen these guys have roof tents in the past and they've been acquired by other companies, but this is their first designed totally in-house. Now you may have seen this launch at the end of last year, but what will be new is they'll be doing it in three different sizes. So this is the medium, which is two to three people. They will also be doing a small, which will be around about two people. And then the large will be four people or perhaps a total of 600 pounds so you may be able to get the kids in there as well but i think the unique feature of this tent is the fact that the ladder itself is used as the leverage point to open and close the tent Now I'm sat in the Ford Bronco Sport, which is obviously slightly smaller, but definitely sportier. And they're still thinking about bikers with this custom Yakima internal rack, which allows you to take one bike or two bikes with all the seats down and it's strapped in for security. And then you have these rubber covers as well, which is all custom fitted to keep all your seats nice and clean and dry. And on that note, under the seat in the passenger seat, you can actually lift it up and it's a sealed unit so that you can store muddy shoes or wet clothing. They've really thought about mountain bikers in this vehicle. I think it looks ace. As cool as the new Broncos are, and I'm quite partial to that Badlands Sasquatch over there. Uh, but to be honest, I think my heart lies with the original Bronco. This is a 1968, although Bronco did start in 1966, and it still looks absolutely stunning to this day. So this is a racking system from Bike e Rack, who do a lightweight version for normal bikes and e-bikes, but they also have this heavy duty version, which will take, as you can see, trials bikes, motocross bikes, as well as e-bikes to a total of 600 pounds. And this racking system only weighs 100 pounds itself. Now, this should be attached to a normal vehicle depending on the counterweight. As you can see, this black mounting system isn't part of the racking. That's just the counterweight uh, where they don't have a vehicle in the tent at the moment. But as you can see, the big 
selling point is the fact that it's self-loading and it charges off the power of your vehicle so you don't have to lift it up onto a rack. So that's the Vantech from Sea Otter Classic 2023. I mean, I'm loving that Tahule roof tent, uh, removable taps and faucets. I mean, that's genius. Uh, or maybe just that retro Ford Bronco with none of the tech. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. What is your favorite Vantech from Sea Otter?